Born in 1903 in a town in East Texas, Marion King Hubbard was a tinkering lad. He built engines and telephones and other such gadgets, tending a farm with his mother and dad. Precocious in school, he left for Chicago, for college at the old U of C. A doctorate capped off his studies at 30 in physics and geology. Marion King Hubbard took a job back in Texas. He worked for Shell Research and the USGS. He mapped out reserves all over the country, recording the places we'd found oil and gas. But Hubbard could see more clearly than most that the oil age had limited time. The question, he said, isn't when it would end, but when would it start to decline? Would the sun ever set on the oil fields of Texas? Would there come a time when depletion drew near? Charting demand, he then drew a conclusion. Production would peak in just 15 more years. His colleagues all laughed for the oil patch was booming, pumping millions of barrels each week. For 15 more years they all chuckled at Hubbard till the day that domestic oil peaked. The world, he would say, is run by two systems. The first is the culture of money and time. If I loan you a dollar today in a year, Pay back a dollar and dime That assumes that there's more and more tomorrow On the upslope that's certainly true But we can't keep on doubling the energy system In the end, only physics will rule Oil fields all follow predictable patterns Production goes up as the wells come online. At some point, the next well you drill makes no difference, and the field at that point enters endless decline. What applies to one field or one country is true for the planet as well. We find but one barrel for each four we consume. Will this be the year output fell? Oil runs the autos, and oil runs the tractors. The food that we eat has an oil subsidy. There's oil in the plastics, and oil in our clothing. Oil powers ships that bring goods overseas. Oil drives the wars we are fighting. And I don't mean the tanks and the planes The reason behind all the shit that's been happening It's simply the oil and game We're burning it now like there's no tomorrow We're squandering all that remains Let's plan for the future and retool our culture to a lifestyle that we can sustain. We're burning it now like there's no tomorrow.